Good afternoon, uh, friends. Um, really happy that you've tuned into this Bank Bazaar live show. Um, I want to share Bank Bazaar's point of view uh, on the new normal, which is contactless finance and access to uh, credit. Now, like all of you, uh, I think I've been learning a lot in the last uh, six weeks as we've been going through this uh, uh, lockdown phase. And as I've spoken to various business leaders, be it uh, senior leadership at banks, uh, people in the transportation industry, in the retail industry, in the telecom industry, I think the clear idea that's coming across um, is the world has changed. Uh, things are not going to go back to, they were, to the way they were in February. We've entered a new normal in terms of what the customer wants. What do I mean by that, right? Uh, if we consider various things that all of us are doing in our daily life, uh, be it the way we work, uh, where we're working remotely, we're productive, we're getting uh, everything done uh, as far as possible electronically, uh, or the way we uh, shop, uh, now that e-commerce has opened up uh, across all zones. Um, my wife was ordering uh, a number of things for our baby girl. Uh, as soon as uh, uh, e-commerce was was open uh, uh, in in uh, the big cities, the way we are meeting and engaging and negotiating with people like our partners, like our clients, like our customers, uh, on all these fronts, uh, there is a new normal. What is this new normal? The new normal is that there is no face-to-face -face meeting uh, or physical contact which we used to have before, uh, whether it is the way we get work done, whether it is the way we shop, whether it is the way we engage with people, there is no meeting. And secondly, there's no paperwork. There's no leaving your house. Everything is, is contactless. So the point of view that Bank Bazaar and I want to share with you today is that if the new normal has happened in work, if the new normal has happened in shopping, if the new normal has happened in entertainment, watching uh, films uh, online, and if the new normal is what is going to decide uh, who is successful or not, whether as an individual or as a company, what senior business leaders have been saying and what we have been discussing within Bank Bazaar is whoever responds quickly, uh, agilely, uh, and uh, uh, manages the new normal, uh, is more likely to succeed than the people who don't adapt to this new normal. So the first point of view is that the new normal has also come to finance. The new normal has come to the way that we're going to uh, get uh, loans. The new normal has come to the way we're going to get credit cards. Um, and customers want it. I, we are putting out a customer survey uh, uh, shortly. And the results are very, very interesting. Uh, customers are saying that uh, they don't want to go somewhere offline. Uh, they don't want to fill forms. In fact, they don't even believe they're going to go to the airport soon or to a mall soon. They don't want to hand over many pieces of paper uh, like uh, 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 bank statement proofs or uh, proof of uh, 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 your passport or your PAN card. Uh, and they don't want to meet people and, and have physical interaction. What customers are telling us is, Give me a secure way in which uh, I can get a financial product digitally, 100% uh, contactlessly, and I'm ready to take it as long as I know that the system is secure uh, and I'll get my product in the contactless way that I want. And very interestingly, right, the same concepts we spoke about in the other industries, which is customers don't want meetings, they don't want to meet anyone, and they don't want paper. They want the entire process to be secure and electronic. The same new normal expectations have come to finance. So what does this mean? Now, what's very exciting is when I speak with bank CEOs, they are echoing the same uh, point of view. So what the banks are telling us and what the NBFCs are telling us is that they expect that come December 2020, 75% of their new business is going to happen digitally that consumers are not going to speak with agents offline or do this at the airport. But when consumers want a credit card, when consumers want a personal loan, 
they're going to apply and they're going to get it done instantly on the phone and it's just going to take minutes so what's very interesting is that uh, customers want contactless no paper no meeting uh, banks and nbfcs believe that it is the future and we're very rapidly headed towards uh, this vision uh, of contactless access to credit so the first point i wanted to uh, align amongst all of us is that across the market be it the consumer surveys that bank bazaar has done which we'll share shortly with you uh, and in our one on one conversations with uh, bank uh, uh, senior management we're hearing one voice contactless access to credit is going to be the new normal the second thing that i've been busy doing friends uh, is learning lessons uh, from other countries which entered and appear to be opening up post covid uh, before india uh, so fortunately for bank bazaar we have investors like uh, uh, sequoia amazon experian uh, and we've been speaking with uh lenders uh banks fintechs uh in china and hong kong very interestingly if i was to distill what i'm hearing from there into one sentence it would be the following in a post covid scenario any service that can be delivered at home on the mobile phone with no physical meeting those services are skyrocketing uh we are seeing that consumers want that kind of service they want it delivered at home on the mobile phone no meeting no paper those kinds of services are skyrocketing um there's data been put out by a leading uh, uh research house uh, which says that online groceries the growth rate has doubled to 62% uh, in uh, china compared to what the same growth rate, rate rate was a year ago so tremendous growth for any service that can be delivered at home without paper without physical meetings however services which require physical meetings if i have to go out somewhere if i have to meet someone else if i have to meet a group of people anything to do with congregation or meeting those kinds of services are fairly muted so the most important lesson i took away from my discussions with the china lenders was that when a service is offered uh, safely at home those services are skyrocketing when a service involves a consumer to step out meet someone hand over something those services remain muted in a post covid scenario very interestingly we're hearing from countries like hong kong and malaysia uh, hong kong and countries like malaysia is that banks uh, are heavily moving towards digital in order to manage the covid scenario so what i'm actually hearing is that digital scale sales have not have not decreased so while online sales might have decreased uh, all the banks and nbfcs are pushing towards digital saying that digital has better reach digital has better targeting digital has better uh, use of machine learning uh, and digital sales uh, continue to grow so that's a uh, 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 learning that i'm getting from uh, conversations with lenders in hong kong and uh, 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 malaysia uh the main takeaway is uh, there is a digital bounce back in the post covid scenario uh, while offline services might take time to come back while offline services might be muted uh, digital is going to bounce back very quickly and this is a time where whether you're a bank whether you're an nbfc uh, whether you're a digital platform like bank bazaar this is a time where we need to listen to the consumer and we need to deliver this service in the consumer's home mobile on the phone with not a shred of paper so the second thing i've been learning is what are these countries doing post covid and it has been very interesting now we've had a very very busy time at bank bazaar where every day we've been uh, uh, working closely with our partners um, and the clear message i'm getting from my conversations uh, with bank cxos is that we need to collaborate to bounce back from the covid scenario so what do i mean by that right so obviously the lockdown has been uh, pretty tough uh, we cannot uh, uh, you know uh, it um, how difficult it's been and how the main priority has been safety so everyone has been locked down over a long period in time now the green zones are opening everyone realizes it's a very very tough quarter 
uh, things are almost at a standstill. But I think the entire ecosystem realizes that to bounce back, there are a number, number of things we need to do. We need to be able to educate consumers on the new, new way of consuming. We need to have very secure, solid technology life uh, uh, for digital onboarding like video KYC and CKYC. We need to ensure that we are able to provide instant checkout. We need to uh, make sure that we're able to provide offline verifications because no one can come to your house to pick up your bank statement or no one can come to your house or to your office to verify that you work there. What I'm clearly hearing from bank partners is this um, belief in collaboration. Um, it's very, very difficult for one single entity to do everything, to onboard uh, uh, 40 million consumers like what we have at Bank Bazaar, to win over consumers' trust, to build the technology, to build the instant checkout, to build the machine learning required to offer uh, instant checkout. Uh, there's a clear understanding when we talk to partners of ours that let's collaborate, let's all do this together so that the digital bounce back, wherein we believe a year from now, 75% of our sales is going to be digital. Let's work together to get it done. The key takeaway that I'm getting in conversations with banks, and this is also coming out in uh, all of the interaction industry base we've been having with the government, including with senior cabinet ministers, that this is a structural moment wherein if we do things right, we can make use of technology to leapfrog and make sure that every Indian has access to credit. So this is not a time for incremental change. If we play our cards right, if we make use of the great technology uh, that Indian engineers have built, that Indian com companies have built, if we make use uh, of uh, digital data for our risk management, if we make use of the great uh, tools and intellectual property we've built in AI and ML, this is truly an opportunity, right, where we can exit uh, far more uh, productive than we entered the COVID lockdown. So this is definitely structurally a potential leapfrog moment. And I think the government has been very vocal about this. Um, and I've heard it in interactions with the finance minister, with the minister of MSME, that let's think of this as an opportunity to structurally make use of all of the strengths that our country has. Uh, and let's use it to leapfrog so that the cost of delivery, uh, the ability to use technology, the turnaround time to deliver a product, the ticket size we can deliver profitably, the risk management that goes behind it, all of it right, can leapfrog if we play our cards right at this point in time. I think I already mentioned to you one clear guidance I'm getting from bank CEOs is that come December 2020, 70% uh, uh, of sales is going to be digital. This is big. This is almost double of what it was in a pre-COVID world. But I think people clearly believe uh, that this is the new, the new normal. Customer onboarding is fundamentally changing friends. Um, I'm very happy to say that on Bank Bazaar, we've been working very, very closely with our partners. You'll hear uh, very, very interesting announcements over the next few weeks. But we have launched for our customers 100% uh, contactless access to credit cards, 100% contactless access to personal loans. And we've done it by building and partnering uh, and delivering solutions around video KYC and central KYC. So I'm very happy to say that today, uh, like me, sitting in your house without a single meeting, without handing over a single piece of paper, you can get approved and get a credit card. You can get approved and you can get a personal loan. And this is because of the far-sighted moves that the regulator and the RBI have taken in January 2020 to encourage video KYC to encourage uh, use of digital onboarding, DigiLocker. So I'm very, very happy to say, right, today uh, we are live. We are live with 100% paperless, presenceless technology uh, that customers in their homes, without having to step out, without having to meet anyone, without someone actually having to travel from their office to your house to pick up documents, take it to a processing hub. We have the wherewithal today in India uh, to deliver uh, no paper, no meeting. We can give you a contactless credit card uh, and a contactless personal loan. And it really speaks very, very highly uh, of the great work that banks, NBFCs, fintechs have done in India and how ecosystem 
we've collaborated to make it happen. If anything, I think this lockdown has been extremely productive. Projects which used to take weeks before today are happening in days. I think every bank is pushing us saying, how do I fast track a launch? I do not want to wait uh, one quarter. I do not want to wait two quarters. How do we get the project out quickly? And we've seen tremendous amount of speed and a lot of announcements are going to be coming from our side, but more work has been done uh, in the lockdown uh, than in any period prior. And really hats off, I think, uh, to the really strong, uh, hardworking team we have at Bank Bazaar for being able to pull together such productivity. What's very exciting, I think, also for the lenders is in this new world, uh, everyone wants uh, a high quality customer. You know, they're all worried about non-performing assets. And the nice thing about digital is digital data clearly shows, and this analysis has been completed pre-COVID. We'll do it in the post-COVID world too. But digital consumers tend to have 30% lower losses than offline customers. This happens because the digital consumer is directly sharing data with the bank, directly sharing documentation with the bank. Um, there's no, uh, they're not signing forms everywhere and handing it over to someone not knowing what's being filled in. Everything is being done directly. It's being done securely because of which performance is, is good. Now, friends, while I talk about this new normal and this collaboration, um, we should also internalize this is going to be a very tough quarter. Um, all of the challenges which we expect happen in a post-COVID scenario, like, for example, um, uh, tighter risk norms. Everyone wants consumers with good credit scores. So if you're a consumer out there, this is a good time for you to make sure you track your credit score, make sure nothing goes wrong, make sure you use this lockdown or this COVID situation to improve your credit score. Um, uh, very, very important. Um, there's a lot of focus on collections. There's a lot of focus on risk. So I don't want to say the challenges are small. Uh, I want to say that while there are short-term challenges, it's very, very clear that contactless or digital uh, is going to uh, rapidly bounce back once this lockdown eases. Now that we've discussed about the collaboration between the industry ecosystem, let's focus on uh, regulatory reforms. Uh, and I've been working closely with a number of uh, uh, banks, NBFCs, fintechs, uh, leading industry bodies. And um, we must appreciate the good work done by the government and the regulators to enable video KYC. But there are a few asks that we've put forward to make the process even more seamless and even more uh, uh, friction-free for the consumer. So today, for example, when you do video KYC, there is a bank uh, official on the other side watching you live. So how many ever consumers are doing their video KYC, uh, those many bank officials are required to be watching uh, and certifying that. Now, we proposed simple technology solutions, liveness checks, uh, which can ensure that this is not a recorded video, that this is being done live by the consumer. And we've also proposed that with the same amount of rigor, uh, can this bank validation be done uh, in a batch format uh, at one go so that we don't need so many officers live for peak uh, throughput, but it can be done on a batch basis. But the full authority of approving, say, K C of approving KYC as always remains with the bank. Um, lenders have launched Central KYC. It's been a fantastic effort by Sersai and the Ministry of Finance to build a unified single KYC repository. I think uh, some of our partners are using it. We've asked uh, for clear guidelines and further mandates from the RBI, encouraging everyone to use it because it's a great technology, it's seamless, it's paperless, uh, and it enables people, even if you don't have uh, sufficient bandwidth, or even if it's non-working hours where the bank officer is not available on the other side for video KYC, you could complete a paperless KYC using central KYC. We've asked the regulator for help with eKYC via OTP. We're only allowed to do loans up to 60,000 using eKYC via OTP. Uh, however, uh, Bank Bazaar has written about this a lot in the media. Um, the average personal loan size is 3 lakhs. Uh, can we make eKYC via OTP for those kinds of consumers? Can we deliver credit cards? You know, one thing that has changed, right, is people are now not spending uh, on 
travel and entertainment, but they are spending a lot more on ordering essentials online. They're spending a lot more on e-commerce online, um, and they need electronic payments instruments for these. So how do we make better use of eKYC? How can non-bank regulated entities, which the Ministry of Finance has said can get access to Aadhaar, how can it be securely given if you meet the information security and privacy norms that the UADI has set forward? So there's a, a, a good conversation, regulatory engagement going on uh, between all the financial institutions, companies like Bank Bazaar, industry associations. And I think the government and the regulator definitely want to see this uh, industry take off. So in summary, what I want to tell you, my friends, is that um, you can leave your questions if you have any uh, in the table below. So let me just, uh, yep. So you can leave your questions in the sections below. Uh, also do follow my LinkedIn page. Uh, we have these live sessions coming uh, uh, weekly. Uh, if you found this topic interesting and insightful, uh, please follow my LinkedIn page. Uh, we'll send you notifications when uh, these sessions are planned uh, around interesting, innovative topics. So what I want to say is uh, we all realize that this is a tough time. Uh, we all need to stay safe, strictly follow government advisory. Um, and this is a tough quarter. But it's also very clear that uh, there is a new normal. Uh, things are never going to go back to, they were, to the way they were pre-COVID. Uh, and the new normal in financial services is contactless access to credit products. Uh, this is a time where consumers are clearly telling us what they want. Lenders are clearly telling us what they want. And it's a time where I truly believe that India can leapfrog and democratize access to finance. Uh, I hope you found this uh, session interesting. Um, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.